Once, the castle's gates open for no one. I must meet King Dark Cacao Cookie! Our village is in danger! What is the meaning of all this? Our village has been starving for days! Things are so desperate, the adults are stealing things! And wild beasts keep attacking everyone! We need your help! Please, send the Watchers! This is ill news indeed. That is, if you speak the truth. We've received word of villages on the outskirts disappearing one by one. But such rumors are easily exaggerated, even distorted. I'm not lying! The King must come and see for himself! His Majesty is occupied elsewhere. If you seek aid, you will not find it here. Then at least let me tell the king myself! He might believe me! Hey! Stop! Don't go! King Dark Cacao Cookie, have you really... abandoned us? My king... Another bothersome petitioner came seeking your presence. I have sent them off, just like the others. Your Majesty, I believe they find it odd that the castle gates are locked. There are... voices of dissent as well. <sighs> the burdens that weigh heavily upon my shoulders there are none who understand. We must not falter. It is imperative that our defenses be bolstered, as per the plan. My liege, your humble servant stands in awe before your wisdom. With your blessing, I shall oversee the day-to-day -day undertaking so that your majesty may strengthen our walls without destruction. These walls are the only defenses between our lands and the Licorice Sea. We must remain vigilant, or those foul beasts may strike at any moment. For now, we continue to fortify our defenses, and keep a wary eye towards the sea. This entire continent's fate is at stake. There's a village right below the walls of the Dark Cacao Citadel. It's just up ahead. We just need to head there and deliver this letter. <laughs> Let, let's hurry on, then. A fading hope that the castle has some hot chocolate is what's keeping me warm. <sighs> it's freezing out here. Who said hot chocolate? The perfect drink for a king. Come now, my faithful subjects. Hand me the letter and I will lead the way. <laughs> you kidding? A small tot like you would get buried under all this snow. Oh well, guess we'll come pick you up in summer. Come on, just a little further. Then we'll all have a good rest next to a cozy fire. <sighs> Hold on a moment. Did you hear that? It's just the wind, pointy hat. No, 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 that's not the wind. More like a terrifying roar! Ah! This is a stay back! Get away! Ah! Move, move, move! We're all gonna be crumbs! Why did nobody warn us about these vicious... Scary beasts! Flee for your lives! <laughs> milk on the fire, lad. We have guests. 
Over here, travelers. This way. Oh, 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 wow. Thanks for letting us in. What was that? A local variety of a lion? Its mane was so... so... so fierce. Ah, ran into one of those beasts, I see. No need to fret anymore. You're safe here. Besides, cookies should help cookies, no? It's a shame that our own king will not help us. But it's times like these where we of the Milk Village shine. For we are stalwart and strong. Here now, have some warm milk and heat yourselves up. An excellent offer! Thank you, kind cookie! Uh, uh, wait, what did you mean when you said your own king won't help you? Hold on. You're not from the Dark Cacao Kingdom, are you? No wonder you're so lightly dressed for this cold. You must be coming from the South, right? My dear guests, what is it like? Is it always warm? Tell me everything. <laughs> now, now, Grand Puppy. We talked about this. First, you must answer our question. What do you mean your king won't help? The Watchers once protected us, kept us safe. But ever since they stopped their patrols, wild beasts have been prowling about, approaching closer every day. Our village is still hanging in there. Others have scattered to other lands. Rumors say that entire tribes and clans have become bandits. Huh, that's weird. Dark Cacao Cookie isn't helping other cookies? The king has locked the Citadel gates. As of late, he is fixated on strengthening the Great Wall that defends the Kingdom of the Licorice Sea. I am not speaking ill of King Dark Cacao Cookie. After all, the Kingdom and our tribe have been allies for generations. We brought a letter from a friend of Dark Cacao Cookie. I'm sure he'll be happy to read it. But no one is allowed inside the Black Citadel. How are you going to deliver the letter? It has been long since I've laid eyes upon the king. The king swore to be our shield. But where has he gone? Are the talks true? Is that king nothing but an echo of the past? There's a nip in the air. Yet another night spent out in the wilds. At least I've had my fill of poor jellies. <laughs> a moon has passed since I've departed from the Black Citadel. I hope my Lord Dark Cacao Cookie is faring well. <sighs> I pray that the remaining Watchers do not fall victim to indignation. I swear to return to the Citadel and prove my innocence! Your Majesty, a little bird has told me that the First Watcher has been shirking her duties and lollygagging at the villages, handing out rations most likely stolen from the Citadel's pantry. There is no truth to these claims. It was my own rations that I decided to share. And my own time I've invested in order to keep our land safe. How impetuous! Are you accusing this humble court of failing to serve our cookies? Are you implying that His Majesty's aides are selfish, greedy, and conniving? Noble Caramel Arrow Cookies, stay your tongue! You have twisted my words and their intent. If loitering outside these walls is what you enjoy, why not be repositioned as first snow flower? My liege, I believe it wise that this lackadaisical cookie before you be banished from our stalwart citadel. Mm. So be it. My king? Please, my king, I am... Caramel Arrow Cookie, heed my words. You need not return. Your spirit has always been one with the wilds. 
akin to the deer roaming the frost-ridden mountains. My... my king... What wisdom was hidden within your words? Perhaps I am overthinking. No more tears, Caramel Arrow Cookie. Concentrate. Keep busy. This is a matter of perspective. There are so many tasks that I can fulfill out here. Focus. You can't stop now. I have to carve and fletch 20 arrows a day to ward off the wild beasts and defend against bandits. It's back! Huh? Cookies? Are they in danger? Are they fending off beasts? Hold on! Help is on the way! to me, travelers. Whatever happens, stay awake and focus on the danger at hand. To have lasted this long on your own, you've much skill in combat. Now leave the rest to me. The Wraith of the Peaks. A snow lion. A fast, agile, and unyielding beast indeed. But can you dodge this? Take this! Is everyone safe and in one piece? When I heard your cries for help, I feared I was too late. But all of you are much tougher than you seem. May I ask which village the lot of you call home? We are from the faraway Cookie Kingdom. You saved our dough back there. And that's a really cool looking bow. Yeah, would you look at that fancy bow? Expensive, huh? Let me take a close look at it. Your boots are very intriguing. Are they designed to help you walk in the snow? Oh, these old things? <laughs> I laced the bottoms with cords of straw to help myself hike through the snowy peaks. But first, allow me to introduce myself. I am a humble servant of the King, a member of the Watchers. Caramel Arrow Cookie, at your service. A pleasure to meet you, Caramel Arrow Cookie. Today, you have saved the King! <laughs> That's me! <laughs> I am relieved to see that all of you are uninjured. Now that the danger has passed, I shall be on my way. Farewell, travelers! Wait! You said you're one of the King's servants, right? What luck! We have a message that we need to deliver to Dark Cacao Cookie. Can you take us to the castle? Ah. Well, the thing is... <sighs> the truth is, I was banished from the castle. I have fallen victim to false slander and accusations. I... cannot go back. Huh? That's not nice at all! What king would do such a thing? Certainly not me! Hmm... Perhaps the rumors are true. Maybe King Dark Cacao Cookie really has changed... for the worst! No, 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 that is far from the truth. The king is, and will always be, an awe-inspiring leader. But that sniveling snake, whispering those poisonous rumors into the king's ear. Sounds to me like things are going to be a little more complicated than we expected. Pardon? The old allies of the Dark Cacao Kingdom are rising up once more? We've seen the Vanilla and Hollyberry Kingdoms with our own eyes, and this letter must reach King Dark Cacao Cookie. It was written by none other than pure Vanilla Cookie. Earthbread is in danger. Dark Cacao Cookie's support will be of immense help. Are you certain? Hmm. Then there is hope after all. That's the spirit! Any king would be proud to have a loyal servant such as yourself. Let's go to the castle together and talk with Dark Cacao Cookie himself! Then let us be off! 
I shall lead you to the king. Yeah, let's go! Time to meet Dark Cacao Cookie. Whoa! Look at that giant chocolate slab! What is this for? This is a monument to honor watchers who have fallen in the line of duty. These are... were... the names of my comrades in arms. Having your name inscribed here is the greatest honor for cookies of the Dark Cacao Kingdom. Though I truly miss them, I am honored to have served together. Not a speck of dust or grime. It is good to see that this place is still held in high regard. Despite our kingdom's... situation. If you would permit, may I light an incense stick to honor the fallen while we are here? My friends, my family, ever keeping watch upon the Great Wall and Mountains, it is I, Caramel Arrow Cookie. Please, aid me in my effort to greet our king once more. Gates have been barred shut? But this means no one is able to go in or out. Hear me! Is anyone on duty? Open the gates! Turn back! <gasps> Caramel Arrow Cookie? Why did you come? My friend, you should not be here. Though I may be in exile, I go where I wish. These travelers are on a quest of great importance. They must meet the king! Honorable Caramel Arrow Cookie, though I wish to help you, I simply... Crumbs! What is the meaning of this commotion? Who dares to spark trouble at our gates? You! Blazing about more than usual, I see. Just how many sweets and delicacies have you gorged yourself on? Caramel Arrow Cookie. I do not recall any retractions regarding your banishment. Your presence here is in direct defiance of our king. You treacherous! I would never defy our king! It is your deceitful whispers that have caused me this shame! Oh, I quite agree. Shameful indeed. Look at you. Though shamed, you still have a sense of loyalty. But tell me, why has the king never summoned you? Dishonorable worm! It is all because of these poisonous falsities you spew about! Stand aside! I shall personally ask the king about my so-called crimes. She's right! We have to meet King Dark Cacao Cookie. We need to deliver an important letter for him, and for his eyes only. Cool. Bringing vagrants to our great citadel as well. Our king is preoccupied with a matter of great importance. He cannot be disturbed, nor will I allow such a disturbance. Be gone. What just happened? That cookie treated you with so much disrespect! My apologies. I have brought shame upon us all. Huh? I'm sure it's not your fault. But I have yet to give up. I know of many hidden passages that can take us into the Citadel. Follow me. Hold position in front of that entrance. I shall open the door for you from the inside. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Caramel Arrow Cookie. These fortifications were ordered to be bolstered weeks ago. It is proceeding at a sugar snail's pace. Quarry more cocoa and bring more syrup. Coat the walls in thick layers of chocolate to reinforce them. By your command, my king. Bring more chocolate bricks and cauldrons for boiling water. Ensure there are enough arrows to hold off a siege. All towers and stations must be supplied. Yes, your majesty. Pardon my curiosity, my liege. We've already a sturdy, fortified wall protecting us. Why must the citadel be bolstered with such fervor? 
our kingdom's coffers cannot sustain these athletes. May I advise caution? For soon even our citadel's kitchens will have to switch from rainbow jellies to plain jellies. Silence! There will be no meals at all if our kingdom is to fall. A hundred pardons, your majesty. Though I humbly stand by my word, observe, the soldiers are growing weary. As are you, my king, my lord, as king of the Dark Cacao Kingdom, you must pace yourself. Your subjects need your strength. My health matters not at this time. Do not let up. Proceed with the construction. There is no room for regret or blame if we are ill-prepared when disaster strikes. All of you, double your efforts! The court must be convened. All ministers need to make themselves present at the Hall of Dignity. Explain yourself, good avocado cookie. What is the meaning of this summons when we should be focusing on our king's commands? The watch has little time to spare for such a summons. Say what you will with haste, for I must return to my post. I humbly ask for your understanding in this matter. It was not my intent to divert the attention of this court from our duties. I approach you because I am concerned with the future of our kingdom. We all know the dire circumstances of our treasury, but perhaps the reason for such concern is due to our king's lapse in judgment. What? You dare utter such treacherous words before us? Hmm. Noble Afogado Cookie. Indeed. Your statement can be taken as an act of treason. Now, now, heed my concerns and think rationally. Our king is obsessed with preparing for a war that will not spark. He is sickeningly fixated on our defenses when there is no need. Our soldiers are well. Their cries heard throughout the night. The treasury is depleting by the hour. Your words do contain an inkling of truth. Never have the beast penetrated our defenses. Our forces are as stalwart as ever, almost excessively prepared. There is no such thing as too much preparation. Our lands, bordering the licorice sea, cannot be sufficiently defended, even with all of our forces. The banishment of the first watcher our forces' morale is at an all-time low. What if ferocious beasts were to attack at this very moment? Why the concern when we already have enough watchers? Do you need more cookies as an excuse to stockpile more jellies? I will not be subject to such an accusation. Refrain from this insolent nonsense. Caramel arrow cookies. Caramel arrow cookie that. Good riddance. What use was there for a first watcher who was always gallivanting through the wilds? Hold your tongue! The first watcher always put the cookies of our kingdom first. Are you defending a banished criminal? Do you wish to be the next one to face exile? This has gone too far. I forgot how cookies' words resonate with the truth. <laughs> you too? <clears throat> This is not a matter of choosing sides. What is it you propose, Avogadro Cookie? My concern for the well-being of our kingdom is too much to bear. I can barely sleep due to such a burden. The answer is crystal clear. I cannot stand idly by while our king brings ruin upon our land. We must devise a plan. Yes, everything is moving forward like clockwork. Confidence in our king has all but dried out. Perhaps I shall expedite my plans, reveal all at once. No, 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 the king is still much too hardy in 
came. Things are moving along indeed, but something is missing. Hmm. There must be a method to make this kingdom my own in one fell swoop. What an amusing conspiracy you have concocted. Has the kingdom been faring terribly of late? Uh, who? Uh, you. You're not from around here, are you? All gates to the citadel are locked shut. How did you get in here? <laughs> There's always a way. Dark charcoal cookie. Hooray! <laughs> he showed us the way. Dark Chaco Cookie, the traitorous prince who struck down his own father before fleeing. Watch your words. I won't warn you again. <gasps> prince Dark Chaco Cookie? Wait, wait, wait. But, but, but you fled from our kingdom. What are you doing here? What do you want? Calm your nerves. We mean you no harm. We are merely seeking an ally, such as yourself. If you truly wish to take the king out of play, bring him to the top of the tallest wall. I will take care of him myself. What are you talking about? How am I to trust you when we've only met just moments ago? You have no choice. Refuse our offer, and our armies will lay waste to this entire land. Yeah! We got an army big enough to invade this kingdom twice! Think about it! Handing the king over to us is better than having it wiped off the map! <laughs> this kingdom will fare on even in the absence of its king. After all, are you not the more capable cookie befitting of the throne? Hmm. They are not wrong. This could be the opportunity I've awaited. If they can truly take the king out of the picture. An interesting offer. Very well. I accept your turn. Da da da. On one condition. Though your confidence speaks values, there is no room for failure. <laughs> Such an amusing conspirer indeed. Are you prepared, good prince? Don't waste your breath. I'm here to finish what I started long ago. This way, my lord. My servants have prepared something that requires your wisdom. As you can see, our work on the fortifications is proceeding as planned. I say this with humility, but my efforts to console the soldiers and other nobles have seemed to pay off. You, overseeing security affairs. My liege, may I offer my counsel on this matter? While a whip might suffice for now, a carrot may prove more effective. Loyal members of your court may be motivated tenfold with remuneration. Royal? Of whom do you speak? Loyalty cannot be bought with rewards. Those truly loyal follow their king until the bitter end. Oh, yes, my lord. I agree with your words of wisdom. I remember the time the first stones for this citadel were set in place. I was driven by a sense of duty and fervor, and desire to protect our land with these walls. Our soldiers, myself, we continued on through that coldest winter, on the brink of starvation, to protect our cookies, our kingdom. But I digress. How much further, Afogado Cookie? What is it that you must present before me? Your king speaks. Answer me. Afogado Cookie. Where has he gone? In fact, 
Where has everyone gone? It has been quite some time, Father. You. Dark Choco Cookie. Dark Choco Cookie. Do my eyes deceive me? How did... You've quite the loyal retainer. I see. Afogado Cookie. That traitorous worm. Tell me, why have you returned? Are you here to ask for my forgiveness? I had no choice but to come here. I am here for the Soul Jam. I have led Dark Enchantress Cookie's armies to these lands. A force to be reckoned with. But if you surrender now and hand over your sword, we will leave immediately. As if trespassing into this citadel like wretched vermin wasn't enough, you dare to utter that name and bring her forces here? You do not deserve the mantle of a prince. You are no son of mine. Do you not feel a bit of shame even as you walk past the altar of the fallen? And you are not the great king we all thought you were. This ancient citadel is crumbling by the year. The time has come to lay waste to it and watch all these lands be cleansed by the flames of war. Tread lightly, boy. Your next words may be your last. You've grown weak over the years. This is your last chance. The Soul Jam. Give it to me! <coughs> I have bad news for you, boy. I do not have it with me. The Soul Jam is hidden within the deepest recesses of this citadel. To protect it until the bitterest of ends. Then our conversation ends here. Where do you think you are going? I'm not done with you yet. You're nothing without its power. <sighs> no one can survive falling from this height. Was this my destiny all along? The king, this entire kingdom, decimated by my own hand. What a waste. So that's that then. Time for the next step then. Summoning the monsters of the licorice sea? I spent years trying to get as far away as possible from this foul sea. But where have I ended up? Back here! Yes, yes! Witness the true might of licorice cookie! Rise up, dark creatures of the depths! I summon you! A great host of beasts. Will I be able to witness those forsaken walls finally crumbling? Whoa! Licorice cookie! That was... Whoa! Awesome! <laughs> hmm. It seems that even you have your uses, licorice cookie. <laughs> With the depths of the sea, I can make anything possible! <clears throat> With one caveat. They'll turn into dust at sunrise. These numbers will suffice. The Citadel will be ours before sunrise. There is no room for failure. Let's get this party started! Go, my minions! Wreak licorice havoc upon the Black Citadel! Oh, Forgotto Cookie! The skies have gone black, and the sea is churning! 
Something foul is afoot! The Watchers decide it is wise to report this to the King. Fear is gripping their hearts as we speak! Our King has departed from the premises and left all matters of the Kingdom to me. My words are delivered on behalf of the King. You need not seek him out so desperately. My plan has succeeded. <laughs> Everyone believes that the king has not been seen since last night. Oh yes, that band of cookies is quite efficient. I am finding it hard to hide a smile. My lord, what should we do about the licorice sea? Lord Alfagato Cookie, please! Ah, uh, yes. Do not be concerned with the licorice sea. Let us hold a ritual to calm its waters. Relay my intent to the Watchers at once. <sighs> my very own servants will make preparations. As I am required elsewhere, I take my leave. <laughs> The altar upon the walls has been prepared, good sage. Please, pacify the Licorice Sea. Tide spirits of the Licorice Sea. Tide spirits, spirits of, of the, the licorice, licorice Sea. Long have we resided upon these lands, disregarding your whispers. May we appease your rage. Accept our offerings, and grant us peace once more. Throw the rash jellies into the fire. Huh? There's something beneath the water. Something... sinister. Sea monsters! What are you babbling on about? Nonsense! That sound is like the cry of anguish from the darkest of nightmares. Ugh. Hush with your incessant whining. Are you watchers of the Citadel scared of a few waves? Those aren't just waves. Monsters from the Liquor Sea are approaching the wall. Sound the alarm! All stations, prepare for battle! Nonsense! The sea cannot climb up the wall! Monsters? Ah! All lies! Lies and false superstition! Your intent on spreading blasphemy to invoke fear into the hearts of our cookies! Do you truly believe so? We have spent our lives our every moment to keep watch upon these walls. Good sage, beware! Take cover! Uh, uh, the monsters of the licorice sea are real? No, it can't be! It can't be! They're hallucinations! Hallucinations, I tell you! They're swarming toward us! Watchers, at the ready! Do not let them gain an inch of ground! Leave this tower to me! Go! Go! There are... Oh, too many of them! Give them no quarter! Reinforcements will be on the way! Commander! Look! Nightmarish beast is that? Ah! Where are our reinforcements? That beast is attempting to smash the wall! Stop it at all costs! Charge! Ancestors, give us strength! We've made it to the Citadel. Make haste for the walls! Move, move, move! Something off about all this. We'll be fine, right? Fear not! For these walls have never fallen for generations. Uh, uh, look! It's shaking from the ground up! No, it's not possible! The walls are collapsing! Retreat! No. Impossible. The Great Wall has fallen. Is this the end for this land? 